here is a stomach that has been opened and you're looking at the mucosal aspect. You kind of know that because you see these little folds which are not parallel, which are extensions of submucosa called rugal folds. But in addition, the most remarkable thing is that you have right in here an area in which the mucosa looks absent. It's an ulcer. And you might ask yourself, is this a benign ulcer or is this a malignant ulcer? Well, that's why we have microscopes. So let's take a look through this area. And perhaps this could be the pit of the ulcer or who knows. But once again, you could see an area here in which you have a, sort of a squamous mucosa. And then you see all these little glands. So this is another squamocolumnar junction. Could this have been the esophagus versus the stomach? Uh, or could this be a part of the stomach that has squamous metaplasia? We don't know. Doesn't matter. But what does matter is that if you look at the very full thickness of this organ, including the muscular layer here, not only do you see that there are a lot of these little patches of lymphocytes here and here and here and here acting as little inflammatory uh, substances, you could see that the glandular elements, which are supposed to be orderly and limited to the mucosa, apparently have infiltrated through this muscle and all the way, perhaps, even smaller glands out here to the uh, serosal aspect. So let's take a look at these little glandular guys. Well, here they are. This is just normal squamous mucosa. Here are some poorly uh, developed glands, as you could see. But in many areas, the uh, glands are so poorly differentiated, they infiltrate almost as single cells, like a ring. Do you remember the signet ring or the rings you had in high school? You had a little hole in the middle, and then you had the little uh, head of the ring on the top. Poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma cells frequently form this signet ring appearance. And uh, you could see that these infiltrating nests are now going through the muscular layers as well, don't you? You could see one there. You can see some abortive cells here. And now we are all the way through, and you could still see that we have some poorly differentiated uh, signet ring cells out here. There's one, there's one, there's one. They're not quite as ring as they were before, but believe me, almost all of the big ugly cells here are poorly differentiated single adenocarcinoma cells. There's one with a very bizarre nucleus infiltrating uh, the fibrous tissue of the serosa. These are all fibroblasts as compared to the ones that were infiltrating the smooth muscle of the media. And uh, this is a nasty tumor. It goes throughout the full thickness of the stomach wall and it appears to fully make that wall of the stomach densely thick. Here's an area of lymphocytes. Here's a few scattered uh, signet ring or poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma cells. Here, tumor cell, tumor cell, tumor cell, tumor cell, lymphocyte, tumor cell, tumor cell, tumor cells. And this is kind of like the monotonous appearance we see all throughout the wall of the stomach. These are... Here's a signet ring cell right here. So if you were to do, for example, a immunostain, you would see that this cell is indeed of epithelial origin, and so are all these other nasty-looking cells, rather than something like a macrophage or a plasma cell or whatever else you might entertain as a possibility. All these nasty cells are tumor cells. All the stuff in between them or perhaps here and here and here are fibroblasts. This wavy stuff is collagen. And uh, pretty soon, eventually, maybe we'll see some other little clumps of lymphocytes somewhere. Oh, I think they're kind of scattered throughout here. I think probably here, 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 and here are lymphocytes. This is a diffusely invasive, poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma present throughout the full thickness of the stomach wall starting from the mucosa 
and going all the way out past the muscularis into the connective tissue of the serosa. And probably the fatty connective tissue as well has been diffusely infiltrated. Thank you very much.